and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'll show you how to make an easy pen stem. So let's get started. First, take a piece of cardboard out of 3.5 and 8.5 inches and stick the two ends together with the help of tape or glue. If you're using tape, then you can cut the excess or fold it inside like how I'm doing. Then, take another piece of cardboard and trace the pen stand on it. And then you have to cut it. This cut piece will be the base of our pen stand. After cutting, take the base on any one opening of the pen stand with the help of tape. After sticking the tape, stick the excess part onto the base like this. I'm making a watermelon pen stand, so I'm taking red color paper and covering most part of the pen stand. I'm sticking it with the help of tape. Now I'm taking dark green paper and I took extra because I also wanted to stick the dark green color onto the base of the pen stem. So now stick, I'm sticking it with the help of tape. Now the excess paper I'm cutting it vertically till the base into small strips like this. After cutting the strip, now I'm sticking it onto the base. With, and then I'm sticking it with the help of tape. And then like that, I'm covering the whole base with the help of green color paper. So to make the seeds of the watermelon, I'm taking a black color paper and then folding it into squares like this. After this, with the help of a pencil, I'm drawing a raindrop like shape which is going to be the seed. And then I'm going to cut it. So the seeds are ready. Now I'm going to stick them onto the red portion of the watermelon with the help of glue. And I'll stick it like this.
Now, to make the eye of the watermelon, we'll be needing black paper and white paper. So, we need big circular black paper with small circular white paper and then I'm sticking the white paper onto the black paper with the help of glue. After sticking, you can use the tip of the scissors to stick the white uh, circle properly. Now I'm gluing these eyes onto the red part of the watermelon. If you are making more than one pen stand, then you can make a stand for this. So, take a piece of cardboard and then stick it onto a color paper. Also remember, the cardboard you are taking should be able to fit how many ever pen stands you are making. And now, I am sticking the cardboard onto the color paper. Now, I'm decorating mine by cutting curve lines. After cutting, I'm sticking all three pen stands onto the new base. So, our pen stand is ready. Also, comment down below which is your favorite. I'll see you next time. Bye!